since 1972. GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. The perennial pro bowler, Justin Tucker, has it on the tee. And off we go from KC. And no chance to return this one. Through the end zone for a touchback. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. the former seventh round draft pick Isaiah Pacheco not much happening there just a short game here's second and nine Throwing from the gun. Here's Patrick. He's got his tight end. That's Travis Kelsey. It'll be a pickup of 10. And the Chiefs have a first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Now Mahomes gives it to Pacheco. And some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six. Come up now for second down and four. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. He'll drop this underneath to Pacheco. And he'll be taken down. The gain is six, and it's a new set of downs. He picked up the first down. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback. Get into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. On first down, it's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen to Pacheco. And they bring him down inside the 25-yard line. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes of the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker, be friendly to the quarterback, and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver. That's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. Here's second and three to go. Throwing is Mahomes. He's hit as he threw. It goes to the ground, and it's an incomplete pass. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. He'll swing one out wide to Pacheco. And he's going to be taken down short of the marker. And that is going to set up an interesting fourth down decision. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, 
it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. The field goal unit on the sideline. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. Now Mahomes. Taking off, he'll try to... He is in. Patrick Mahomes. Touchdown, KC. The defense comes up with the coverage, but they cannot keep up with the speed as the quarterback scrambles to the end zone for the touchdown. And down here in the red zone, Mike, is where I think a quarterback's legs can be the most dangerous. The defenders are trying to match backs, match tight ends and receivers, but often it's the quarterback that has no one assigned to him, and in this case, he's able to capitalize and run it in himself. So now it's Butker following the touchdown to send this one away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. First and 10. the shotgun here's Jackson and he can't hang on through the contact it's incomplete what a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving and it'll be second down well defended there and the quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend so give a lot of credit to this secondary they were all on the same page and the ball falls incomplete. This one complete to Bateman. And he is out of bounds, but not until he's inside the 40-yard line. A big play there for Baltimore. 33 yards. A first down throw for Jackson. That's to the right side, and incomplete. There's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. And they're going to be set up right around the 10-yard line. That is such a critical area on the field, Mike, between the hash marks and the numbers. Everyone wants to control the middle of the field. Every offense is targeting it. So what does the defense do? They really pack it. So for a quarterback to be able to put this ball out on the perimeter, it just really stresses these defenses, especially in their coverages. That's caught. Derek Henry. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one yard line 10 times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board? Because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal. But right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone and they got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. Looking for that crease inside and that did not break the play. No doubt about it. They are going to mark him short. Two minutes remain. First half in a 7-0 game. We'll return to Arrowhead after this. Here's third down and a few inches. They'll run the sneak. Trying to find an opening, but too good in the middle from the defense. They stop this up, and now it is fourth down. And now this brings up a tough situation, Mike, because even if they were going to consider going for it on fourth down, how do you do so when you couldn't even manage to get a few inches on third down? Disappointing result for them on that play. Now the Chiefs going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll discuss what's to come as fourth down is looming. They'll 
run for it with Henry. And he's not going to get there. They stopped him at the goal line. It's a turnover on downs. Well, I'll tell you, Mike, I'm feeling pretty good about my chances of picking up this fourth down when I've got big old Derrick Henry in the backfield. So what an unbelievable job by this defense coming up with a huge fourth down stop. It'll grind out a couple of yards, gives them a little bit of space out to the three. Look them up on a second down and eight. A handoff to Pacheco. Trying to get himself up field, and he cannot do it. Not back at the two-yard line. Sometimes you run all those big bodies out there, you kind of tip your hand. I always love going big jumbo personnel for a play action. In this case, they keep the ball on the ground, the defense knew it was coming, and they suffer a loss. Now a timeout here by Baltimore. That's going to be their second. It'll come with 36 ticks left on the first half clock. Third and nine. Out of his own end zone. It, and that pressure too great. He's going to be sacked in the end zone. And that is a safety. So first the decision to throw down here back up near your own goal line. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Sacking him Greg in the end zone for a safety. Mike, anytime you're willing to call a pass backed up this deep in your side of the field, you have to trust that your quarterback is going to have the clock in his head to get the ball out of his hand. In this case, he holds on to it too long. The defense is able to get to him in the end zone, and it results in the safety. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. From the gun, Jackson. He's got his tight end, Mark Andrews. And he'll be out of bounds, but not before he gets inside the 35-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. Now, Jackson. Laying out, and he made the catch. What a play. The Ravens now going to use their final timeout as it comes to 22 seconds remaining till halftime. On first and 10, Jackson. And he'll be taken down. A pickup of 10, and it's going to set up first and goal. So we've reached halftime here at Arrowhead with the Chiefs on top as we'll send you down to Orlando now for Jonathan Coachman as our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, thank you. Both teams trying to find the right formula to come out on top in this second half. Coming up. This kick is fielded in the end zone, but no move to bring it out. It's touchback, and that ball will come out to the 30-yard line. Now to throw on first down. He'll find Aguilar complete. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Here's Henry. And that'll give him a first down. Tackle made after the pickup of three. I think this second down call, Mike, they were hoping that at worst they had themselves set up for a third down and short. But there's no need for third down. He was able to get enough on second, and they get a fresh set of downs. On 
first and ten. It's a handoff. Wait a minute. It's a reverse. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. On the give, here's Henry. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. This is one of those cases where having high-end speed in the backfield can be such a game-changer. The offensive linemen don't need to hold their blocks quite as long. You give this guy a little bit of a crease, and man, he is gone. And he'll work forward for a yard, but that's all he needed. This is going to be a first down. It's possible they could have tried to be a little bit more aggressive on second down, knowing they had third and inches in their back pocket. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Pick up the first down, extend the drive, see if you can go score. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Aguilar goes off in motion. They run on the jet sweep. And some good footwork there. He'll take this forward for a gain of eight. Come to the line now on second and two. Using the jet sweep for the fake, they run it up the middle. And he'll get this inside the 20, a nice run. They're in the red zone. It's first down. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground and the offense is able to pick up a first down. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. Zay Flowers, the intended receiver, and it'll bring up second down. They couldn't quite connect there on that short pass, Mike, and I just think it's worth reminding everyone how different the concepts are down here in the red zone than what the rest of the game plan calls for in the normal part of the field. Second down, a run. Well, how about a reverse instead? Here's third and two. Now the Ravens use their first timeout. Third and two. Open man is Bateman. He's got him. And he gets to the outside and takes it in. Rashad Bateman. Touchdown, Baltimore. Now Jackson and the Ravens will try to tack on two more. They'll look to throw. That's going to wind up incomplete. They try for two, and it does not pan out. So these two teams take the long walk to the opposite end of the stadium. We've come to the end of the third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, here's Mahomes. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big. He gets free! And he will score! Hollywood 
Brown. Touchdown, Kansas City. What a game this has been back and forth we go, and that fourth quarter score changes the lead one more time. And we've seen the lead go back and forth, Mike, and now the question is, can they get a stop? Can they find a way defensively to hang on to this lead and get themselves this big win? This becomes a big spot here for the Chiefs. They will indeed go for two. Mahomes. He'll swing that out wide. And he will get into the end zone for the two and extend the lead to seven points. So a big change here. They go from down one, score the touchdown, add the two. Now they lead by seven as they kick it off. And no chance to return this one. Through the end zone, four touchbacks. Jackson now. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Looking to throw. He gets that to the veteran Aguilar. And they will bring him down on the other side of midfield. Jackson up top again. And he'll gain yardage and able to get down at the end of the play. Well, give him some credit. Initially, that looked like it was going to be a sack. He's able to escape the pressure and get away. Picks up a little bit of yardage, but at least he avoids taking that shot. A pass pulled in by Henry. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. They get 15 on that game. First down, Baltimore. for a gain of about five. They'll come up now for second down. And the Ravens are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. Galore goes off in motion. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And he will not get in from there. In fact, I think he was shoved backwards a little bit. In these goal-to-go situations backed up on your own goal line, Mike, what they teach the defense is it's your job to establish a new line of scrimmage. And that's exactly what they did here. Watch the push they get. The offensive line goes backwards, and they take the ball carrier down for a loss. Again, it'll be Henry. And it's a touchdown. They have gotten to within one, and a two-point conversion can give them the lead here in the final minute. Big moment here for the Ravens as they will go for the two-point conversion. 
They'll drop to throw. That'll be caught. And he is in. The risk pays off. They take the lead here in the final moments of the game. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. The return team going to let that one go. It'll go through the end zone. It's a touchback. This is first and ten. Mahomes back. Well, that scramble is ultimately going to end up short of the first down, Mike, but it's going to help quite a bit. That's a great job by the quarterback. Just taking what the defense gives you, get downfield, pick up good yardage. Now, second and inches. From the shotgun, it's Mahomes. And that ball incomplete over the middle. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because Snake Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs, they clog up the back end, and at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. That's complete. Who else? It's Kelsey. What that play call tells me is that play caller made up his mind. We're on third and inches. If we don't get it, we're going for it on fourth down. So he really treated that third down like second down. They work the outside part of the field. Simple pitch and catch. It's a nice pickup. First down throw. Mahomes firing right side. Brought in by Brown. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. To the air once more, it's Mahomes. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Uh, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. Pressure time, no timeouts to stop the clock as they get set here for a big first down. Right back to the air for Mahomes. That is incomplete, so the task gets more difficult. Time for maybe two plays, that's it. So an incompletion certainly not the worst thing in the world, but right now you're in a battle against the clock. You want to make sure that any field goal or any scoring play ends the game. You don't want to give your opponent a chance to answer the score, so they've got to be mindful of working this clock and mindful of getting into really manageable field goal distance. And he'll just bite the bullet and throw this one away. It was a good idea. He didn't force anything there. But now it's going to bring up third down. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Big moment for a guy who's made some big kicks in his career, Harrison Butker. This to win the game. That's long enough, and it's good! 
on target from long range. So this one in the win column for the Chiefs. This one went all the way down to the wire. Late field goal. Zeroes on the clock. Seals the deal. GG, bro. Chiefs victorious as we say so long from Arrowhead.